Turning now to the latest on wildfires, crews are still battling a fast-growing wildfire northwest of Payson. It's called the Backbone Fire. So far, it's burned more than 17,000 acres, almost tripling in size Saturday. Families are now evacuating. If you live in Strawberry, Pine, or Hunt Ranch, firefighters are asking you to please don't go back to your home. In addition to that, ADOT shut down several highways, including State Route 260 between Camp Verde and State Route 87. The fire was reported earlier this week after a thunderstorm rolled through the area. Evacuees are in Payson now, hoping this is just all over soon. Team 12 Josh Sanders is with them at the Payson Rodeo Grounds. That emotional thing, it's there, you know, you're coming down the hill and you're, you're just trying to keep it together, you know. It's Strawberry Valley evacuees Debbie Walker and her partner Terry watched in horror as the backbone fire crept closer to their home Friday. Toward the end of the valley, it was black smoke a few hundred feet in the air, and it was also red, which typically means you got flames on the other side of the hill. So we just grabbed and got out, got the animals, got our meds. The fire has been burning west of Strawberry and Pine since Wednesday, now scorching more than 17,000 acres. Evacuation orders issued Friday night for anyone living in Strawberry, Pine, or Hunt Ranch. Pine evacuee Heidi Hess was in Florida when she heard her home was in danger. Her son battling the inferno on the front lines. When I took off in Tampa, it was ready, and when I landed in Phoenix, it was go. So I rushed up, and I never made it to Pine because they closed the roads. Um, our son is one of the incident commands. And so he's leading one of the teams. Strawberry evacuee Darlene White's husband was taken to a local hospital for signs of heart issues shortly after they arrived at the Payson Rodeo Grounds. His O2 sats were terrible. His blood pressure was up. So they took him in and they did admit him. The emotional toll heavy for these evacuees bonded by their friendship, now anxiously waiting and hoping their homes are spared. I'm grateful for my friends and our lives and our pets, and I think that's the most important thing. The only thing is, is my father, I only have one picture of him, and that's still at home. So I'm hoping that's going to be okay. The Arizona Red Cross is encouraging evacuees to take their pets to Rim County Middle School in Payson next to the Red Cross shelter.